Welcome back to the Business Exit Value Strategy. In today's tactic, we will discuss the Goal 1 Strategy and the SWOT Analysis. This is the Business Exit Value Strategy with one objective, seven goals, and 500 tactics. Statistically, only 25% of businesses continue beyond 15 years, and only 25% of those will sell. Why is it only 5% succeed? We have analyzed mid-sized companies for over 20 years. There are proven methods and common mistakes to success. This is the business development outline for you, the principal, to finish well and have a future assurance with real estate investments. Now, let's jump into today's tactic. Everyone, including the principals of a company, have strengths and weaknesses. The most successful leaders focus on their strengths and team up with people that have strengths to complement the leader's weaknesses. Just as much as people benefit from a personality analysis, a business benefits from a SWOT analysis. SWOT stands for Strengths, Weaknesses, Opportunities, and Threats. The SWOT analysis is a technique for assessing the four aspects of your business. You can use the SWOT analysis in a constant improvement process to achieve the best productivity. SWOT is a framework used to evaluate a company's competitive position and to develop a strategic plan. SWOT analysis assesses internal and external factors as well as current and future demands. Knowing a company's strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, the business may become more efficient and profitable. As simplified examples, if a company cannot deliver throughout the U.S., it may have products delivered by UPS or FedEx, and most principals use an external CPA and attorney. Focus on your strengths. Share your weakness obligations with others in order to have the resources to develop new opportunities. Have situational awareness and mitigate threats. Understanding SWOT and creating a teamwork leads to efficient operations and may increase profits to achieve a business objective. On a more modern process, if a business does not have a warehouse, it may benefit from a fulfillment center for the logistics to handle receiving, storing, shipping, and even additional sales efforts. Production may be increased by contract manufacturing, and service may be increased by co-working with other companies. In construction, the use of subcontractors is a common practice, for instance. Stand by for this week's chance to win a free gift. If this tactic was helpful, please like this video. Also, please subscribe to hear more tactics soon. And you may order the book, Business Exit Value Strategy, have your people attend individual tactic online courses, or contact us at TobiasBalda.com. For a chance to win our weekly free gift, the Hope and Courage Anchor Lion Hat, please submit a request or question in the comments section.